Let's start by talking about sole proprietorships. This is the form of business where an individual is owned, it's owned by an individual. There's a sole person involved. Uh, most common forms of business across the United States, they often focus on services like uh, driver, drivers or uh, different types of organizations like laundries or whatever. Um, generally, you focus on these without a large sum of money coming in. The money is treated as if it, it is the income of the sole proprietor. So proprietorships, they're typically, they typically employ less than 50 people. They're about three-fourths of all the companies in the United States. It's interesting to note that men are twice as likely as women to start their own business. In many areas, small businesses make up a vast majority of the overall economy. There are advantages and disadvantages for each form of business. And in particular, we'll talk about sole proprietorship. Um, they're very easy to form. You just get your licenses and you move forward and start your company. Um, they allow you to keep a lot of information about your firm secret. Uh, you don't have to disclose a lot other than when you perform taxes and the like. Um, the, uh, the, the profits all belong to the owner. Um, the owner has complete control over the business. They can respond quickly to changes, hiring and firing, and all of those things. They're not responsible to a board of directors or anything. They're just owned by the company, owned by the business, run by the business. Same is true of government. I mean, the government regulation on these firms is, is um, limited. Um, they, uh, they are easy to operate. They, you have to get municipalities, you have local rules, business formation, and, and different types of permits, but by and large, they are left alone, and they're quite, um, they are quite easy to operate, uh, open, and to close. Um, taxes are considered part of personal income, and it's easy to dissolve the business. You just shut it down. Likewise, each form of business has disadvantages. Some of the disadvantages of a sole proprietorship um, include that the owner has to use personal assets, have to borrow money using your personal um, uh, personal assets. Uh, you can borrow money based upon the business itself, but it's also intermingled with your own business. So you have unlimited liability in meeting the debts of the business. If the business has problems, you personally remain liable for all those debts. Uh, the sources of external funds can be difficult since it's mingled with your personal assets, so it can be difficult to find funds to start such a business. The owner has to have many diverse skills. You're essentially doing it all yourself, so there's marketing, finance, accounting, management, all of the above. And the survival of the business is tied to the life of the owner and his or her ability to work because it's owned and operated by a person, and therefore if that person uh, is no longer alive, then it's difficult to continue operating. You have to essentially sell the assets of the business or take over the assets of the business in order to keep the continent, continuity of the business going forward. It's not a separate entity, if you will. Sometimes qualified individuals are hard to find because it's difficult for small proprietors to pay competitive wages, particularly when you're competing with large-scale organizations. And the, wealth, the wealthy sole proprietors pay a higher tax because you pay individual tax whenever you're doing extremely well, um, whereas the, if you were paying a, be paying a salary, you might be paid at a lower tax rate. So there are disadvantages associated with a sole proprietorship. Let's talk for a minute about finding talented employees um, because larger corporations like McDonald's, etc., have higher profits, there's more opportunities for advancement and for jobs themselves. So sometimes it's difficult for sole proprietorships uh, to match the wages and benefits of larger firms like that. In addition, oftentimes it, the people feel like they're sort of stuck in the spot they have because the sole proprietor often brings family members in at higher levels in the organization. So it can be very difficult to advance in a sole proprietorship situation. We shouldn't forget, however, that core part of the economy is the entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs often start sole proprietorships 
many times it, since the limited liability company, the LLC, was was brought into being, it be, it is a better way to form even a small business than a sole proprietorship because the limited liability aspect of it can protect your personal assets, home and, and bank accounts and that sort of thing. But many, many entrepreneurs start and open their businesses as sole proprietorships and therefore you can keep your profits and your ownership and, re, and all of that, but at the same time all the risks and responsibilities uh, likewise remain with the entrepreneur. Next lecture, we'll talk about partnerships.